Hey guys, welcome back to the pitch and I know it's been a month since my last upload but I'm back now and today's video is about Clarence Seedolf's illustrious 22 year career. But before we start, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. As always, let's get into today's video. First off, when Clarence Seedolf stepped foot on the pitch, he was a very versatile player that had remarkable strength, pace, and stamina, which is why he was a huge contribution on both the offensive and defensive side of the ball. Now you guys are probably wondering how did Seedolf get so good. Well, he was born to a family of footballers, so him and his brothers learned the basics about the beautiful game from a young age, since their father was a former player himself during their childhood. Eventually, at 6 years old, Seedolf would start to play for various local amateur clubs. At some point in his youth career, the talent agency set up by the great Hohan Kui from the club Ajax came to visit these youth clubs and spotted Seedolf and how much talent he possessed it. So they invited him to train at the Ajax Academy. Seedolf would train at the Ajax Academy up until he would make the starting 11 for his first professional debut playing the midfield position at 16 years old. And this debut made him the youngest player to debut for Ajax at that time. So within his first season on the pitch with Ajax, under head manager Louis Van Gaal, one of the most prominent coaches of all time, Seedolf would establish himself as a first choice when he came to the midfield position. So in his second season with the club, he would help Ajax win a treble which includes the Everdees title, the Dutch Super Cup, and the KNVB Cup. Although Seedolf's time with Ajax would only last three years, he was able to win consecutive Super Cups, Everdees titles, and who can't forget the 1994-1995 Ajax team that won the Champions League without losing a single game that season before Seedolf would make his departure from the club. Since Seedolf had decided to leave Ajax, he would sign a one-year deal with the Italian club Sampdoria. Even though he didn't win any sort of ties with the club, he was able to play very well which caught the attention of the Spanish giant club Real Madrid. So from 1996 to 1999, Seedolf still in his 20s would play a pivotal role in the achievements the club would attain. In his first season with Madrid, he would help the club regain the La Liga title that they won previously. In his second season with the club, he played a significant role in the team's Champions League success which is why the club won it and Seedolf had earned his second Champions League trophy. However, in his final season with the club, issues with management and Seedolf would occur, so he chose to return back to Italy for the club Inter Milan for a fee of 24.3 million euros. One thing most Madrid fans will never forget is that Seedolf would score a 40 yard missile. And just to show you how far he took this shot, here's a clip of it. Now guys, his time with Inter Milan was a short one, but many Inter fans still remember Seedolf for his breathtaking long shots, and teammates have even said that he had a brilliant way of understanding the game. After a short time with Inter Milan, Seedolf would stay in the Italian league, but he chose to play for the rivals of Inter Milan, which is AC Milan, where he would spend the next 10 years of his career. But within those years, he was able to find a great amount of success on the pitch, since that AC Milan squad was stacked with so much talent. The first season he spent with Milan, he helped the club win the Coppa Italia, a competition the club hadn't won for 26 years. That same season, Seedolf would win his third Champions League with Milan, which made him the first player to win the Champions League with three different teams. In his second season with Milan, he would win the Serie A title, the fourth national title that he would win in his career since he had previously won both Real Madrid and Ajax. Then, for the many years he would play with Milan, Seedolf would continue to win. In fact, he was able to capture another Champions League, win two more Super Cups, and best midfielder before he would move to the Brazilian club Bata Fego, and this would be the first time he would not be competing in his favorite competition, the Champions League. After a couple of triumphs here and there with Bata Fego, Seedolf would eventually hang up his boots to become a head coach, which is not as great as his days on the pitch was. Overall, guys, Clarence Seedolf had an impressive career where he would win with almost all the clubs he played for since he was essentially the universal piece on every starting lineup. Unfortunately, his international career was not as great as his club days, but he was still able to win awards like Dutch footballer back to back, was inducted into the AC Milan Hall of Fame and won the Nelson Mandela Legacy Champion Award because in his 22-year career, he was a noble philanthropist. 
anyways guys as always if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and have a great rest of your day